Hi hoes, welcome to my channel. If anybody's clicked on this video, hi, my name is Nicole. I haven't done this in so long, so please bear with me. Okay, anyway, I wanna talk about my dating experience as a trans woman because, hi, hello, yes, I am a trans woman. Um, I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. I need to rant, maybe my sister's out there can like relate to it somebody can get something from it and learn something new so i've had a total of two boyfriends one was abusive and one was a cheater but the things that both of them got right was showing me off to their friends and family um whether or not the people around them knew and were like oh yeah she's trans or they didn't know or whatever like they were more than proud to show me off and so I got used to that. And then, you know, having broken up with both of them and like being single for the past six months, um, it's really given me a perspective of how hard it's been to date as a trans woman in society. Because guys want us a lot of the times for that experience in our bodies and like they want us sexually under the blankets and the sheets, but then when it comes to presenting us to their family or their friends, it's like, it's a no. It's like, yeah, that's not gonna happen or we're not gonna, you're, we're not gonna do that. And so for me, it's been hard to kind of deal with that reality. The last guy that I dated, him and I had FaceTimed, like it wasn't even that serious, but he was such a gentleman and so we went on a date and he like grappling he wouldn't let me touch the door like he'd like open the door every single time and like he was just such a perfect gentleman and we were vibing so great and i was like wow like this is crazy because grown-ass men that i've been on dates with that are like over the age of 25 25 plus like haven't given me this princess queen treatment then we got to the conversation of you know, like, would you ever tell your friends and family that you're dating a trans woman? Um, and he was like, no, like, blah, blah, blah. And then essentially basically saying that I would have to be kept a secret from the, all of the people in his life. And that was just a non-negotiable for me. So I had to walk away from that experience and say, you know what? No. Because, yeah, my ex-boyfriends cheated and or abused me and or did all this bullshit. But they always showed me off for the most part. Like, they never made it seem like it was a burden to them. Like, they never made me feel like I was an alien. So I think going forward you know, why Why am I not gonna expect that from somebody, if that makes sense? So I had to let him go. I told him face to face, I was like, listen, let me think about it. And then when I got home, I thought about it and I messaged him saying like, you know, wish you all the best. And then I took him off everything, but like, it just, it, it hit a chord with me because it's been so long since I felt othered and alienated and ostracized and less than just because of my identity. And listen, a lot of people might be like, hey, like you don't have to like tell everybody that you're trans or whatever, whether or not they can tell or not. Like, but at the same time, I wanna be able to be comfortable around my future boyfriend's family. Like I wanna sit down and if I feel like, hey, my mother-in-law, like I'm gonna go talk to her about how hard it's been for my like me transitioning and if she asks questions about my childhood i want to be honest and like i don't want to be around people that are so against the lgbtq community i want to be people that are like okay with people just being themselves and like aren't so hateful and spiteful of it if that makes sense like i don't want to be in that environment and so that's what i did um, I let it go. I talked to a friend about this and he was telling me, he was like, listen, like, it's going to be very, very hard for you to find a guy like that. And I was like, okay, well, I've already found like two. 
So why, why can't I find a guy like that? A guy that's going to show me off and I won't have to be like upset or sad or scared or whatever. Like, you know, suffice it to say dating as a woman is hard. Okay. But dating as a trans woman is, I forgot how hard it was. I really did. Um, and then if I go out in public, like, and a guy asks for my number and stuff, you know, there's a conversation that I've had with some guys where it's like, oh, I'm trans, by the way. And then they ghost me or like, you know, it's just, I can't, you know, it's hard. So all of this, I'm putting it all out there. I'm telling all of this stuff as it's happening because I feel like A, it's therapeutic. B, it's important for people to see that it happens. And C, I feel like it's important for other trans girls that are starting their journey. I've been on this journey for six and a half years now, um, medically and in society. So like, you know, there's a few things that you just go through that I don't think you ever stop going through. Um, I think it's important for these kinds of stories to be shared. Um, and if you have like any advice or if there's anything you've experienced dating, trans women and cis women can have these experiences and share them together. And I feel like everybody can, can agree that dating in general is hard. And um, so yeah, if there's like any tips or advice that you have about just not losing your mind, please put them down and yeah. That being said, thank you so much for watching.